Hey, what's going on guys? This is Derek here from Raised Drop Fishing. I just wanted to kind of bring to you guys how to attach your braided line to a fluorocarbon or a mono leader. Stay tuned. All right, so today we're gonna tie our braided main line coming from our reel and pole to a fluorocarbon or a mono leader. Uh, now there's two different ways you can do that with a thousand different knots. I'm gonna show you two different ways with two different knots. One is line to line. So this braid will directly tie onto the fluorocarbon or the mono. And then the other one is to use a uh, swivel. So your leader would be attaching to a, the, this side of the swivel and then your braid would be attaching to the other side of the swivel. Now there's advantages of both and there's disadvantages of both. So without further ado, let's go into tying the line to line. Now this is the modified Alberta or modified Albright knot. Um, so what we're gonna do is double our leader material. Okay, we're gonna make a loop, leave you plenty of space here. And then you're gonna take our braid and you go into that loop. And again, give yourself plenty of tail end here. All right, and now while I'm pinching, this doesn't have to be super pretty. But while I'm pinching, the end of the loop where the braid comes through, just to kind of help hold it, I'm gonna wrap down. Okay, do you see my wraps? I'm gonna wrap down away from the braid and the loop 10 times. Okay, now this is just the regular Alberta Albright knot. But the modified is going to happen when, once we're down, our 10, ten uh, wraps. Now we're going to wrap back up towards the loop, okay? And that's where the whole modified term comes into play here. So I usually wrap back up six to eight times. Oh gosh. All right. And then once you get back up to here with your six to eight loops, you want to go back out the loop the same way you went in. So for this specific knot that I just tied, I went in this way through the loop, which means I want to come out this way. Alright, and that's it. Now the reason I like this knot, once, you, once we cinch it down, you'll see it's very, very small and it casts very nicely, uh, especially in like bass fishing applications to where you actually want to cast with your knot. This is a fantastic knot for that, okay? Um, there, there's one that's a little bit stronger that's called the FG knot. If you guys have researched it all, line to line connections, that's going to absolutely plaster your computer or your uh, cell phone screen however that thing's kind of a pain in the butt to tie and it takes some time and if you're bass fishing you know you have to tie on a new leader every so many casts because you're either running out of leader material from casting or your leader material is getting shredded just from using it um, you don't want to sit in the boat for five minutes and trying to tie your your line to leader connection so once you're at this point, just wet, it, okay? and then grab both the tail and the main line of both. So you're going to grab tail, tag end, main line braid, tag end, and then leader line, main leader material. And you're going to pull until you think you got it pretty good. And then release your tag ends on both sides. And finish it up by just pulling the main line. If you're using braid, be careful and cut yourself. Alright. Oh yeah, there it is. Money, son. And then next, you can cut these tag ends as short 
as you can get them without compromising the knot. Okay. And this bad boy is ready to go fishing. So, as you can see, that's a really it's a really small knot. Now this is 30 pound braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon, or uh, excuse me, 20 pound mono. So, except for maybe a little bit heavier braid, normally if I was like throwing in clear water for bass fishing, um, when a flipping application, I'd be using 65 pound braid with you know 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. So this is roughly maybe a little bit thicker braid but roughly the diameter of the fluorocarbon that I'd be using and you can still see that the knot on that is is fairly small um, and if you tie that without taking your leader material out of the box then now you can you know you can just pull as much leader material as you want and and tie her on there um, this would be great uh, for for clear water when you need that extra uh, line and visibility for lack of a better explanation um, and then also if you're looking for some stretch in your line like if you're doing a finesse presentation and you want that little extra stretch or that delayed hook set reaction and you want to put on mono to your braid that again is is a great way to use this knot so Learn that one, it's fast to tie, as you saw, and it's extremely strong, and it's thin diameter uh, finish knot is, is what allows you to be able to cast it very nicely. Now the other way you can do this is with a swivel. Uh, now a swivel, yes, it adds some bulk to your, your line and, and it adds something for the fish to see. Uh, swivels work. You're gonna tie this along one if you're just saltwater fishing, um, maybe cat fishing. Like I said, you want a little bit extra stretch, so you're putting the mono on, but using braid. Uh, and then I also really like this for bass fishing with using a weightless fluke. So I'll actually go big on my swivel, and that'll act as my weight. And not only does it act as my weight for further casting, when that fluke is, you know, eight eight to 18 inches behind this swivel depending on what kind of action you want as this darts one way your fluke is going to go the other so it, it creates a really nice really clean finesse slash crazy action without having to add a bunch of weight to drop that lure down unless you needed to go down obviously so this is great for like really shallow water um, also, I think it gives the, the appeal of a something that maybe your fluke imitating a, a bait fish or so sunfish or something is chasing. So you know you got your your fish your bait fish back here, but then the bait fish is chasing an even smaller bait fish and the bass is like, oh, dude's off his game. Let's come from the side and schwack him. So just a couple of reasons that you would use a swivel. Um, also in bass fishing would be a Carolina rig. So for this, I want to tie my leader material on first so that I can use a polymer knot. Okay, if you're not using a polymer knot where the, the knot itself has to go around whatever you're tying it to, you know, then you can tie the swivel onto your main line first. But I like the polymer knot, it's extremely strong, it's extremely low profile, and it's extremely fast to tie. And I'll show you why you want to tie it to the leader material first. So I have a video on how to do the polymer knot if you if you don't already know how to do it. But just kind of a brush up, you're gonna double your line, put it put it through, do a simple overhand knot, just like you're tying your shoe. Take this loop, pass the swivel all the way under it, okay? And then once you get it, not tight but close, wet it a little bit and finish her off, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, there we go. So we cut this tag off. 
So now this is tied to my leader material. Let's say I want, you know, just for purposes of this video, let's say I want that much leader material. Obviously you're going to want more than that. But so this is your swivel and this is the end of your leader material where you would tie your lure, your hook, whatever you want to tie to the end of your leader, okay? Now the reason I did that first, do not tie your lure on yet. Don't tie your hook on yet. Because now I want to attach my braid to this leader material using the polymer knot. So I'm going to get double in. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh. All right. Do my little overhand knot. Pass the loop. Now this is why I said don't tie nothing else onto the end of the leader yet. So I gotta pass this polymer knot around the swivel, but I gotta be able to pull this leader material out. Now granted that was short just for demonstration purposes, but even if it's 10 feet long, you can still just sit there and rip that leader material out until you can get that loop around. Wet it. Now you got your polymer knot tied with your braid. That's it, man. So now we've got our braid, our swivel, and our leader material all tied on at once. Okay. Now something I haven't covered yet is why would other than what were some other advantages of other than just fishing clear water or whatnot? Uh, one of the biggest ones. So I have some family in Arizona that do some striped bass fishing, and they're fishing in like hundred foot of water plus for these striped bass, and when, when my uncle told me that they were using straight fluorocarbon on their reels, I was kind of shocked. I was like, dang, dude, you're fishing that deep consistently every weekend with fluorocarbon? Like, that would get expensive real fast, especially if you have to tie a bunch. So I asked him, I was like, dude, why aren't you using braid on your reel and just tying a fluorocarbon leader? Because they're fishing clear water and the fish are finicky, so they need that, that, that line, that, that leader on the end of it. And he's like, oh, dude, I just don't, I don't know how to tie one like with confidence. I was like, you know what? Do your video. So this is for you, Rob. But the braid is a thinner diameter, which means you can put more of it on your reel. Okay. And then you can use a stronger braid. So let's say in this case, my uncle Robbie down there in Arizona striped bass fishing, he could put on 30, 50 pound braid still be able to put more line on his reel but then only buy one box of fluorocarbon a year and just tie on leaders instead of buying maybe two three four boxes of fluorocarbon uh yes the braid is is as expensive maybe a few dollars more than the fluorocarbon however if you take care of it and you don't tie on a bunch with your braid that'll last you two or three seasons okay not all of us are you know gifted enough to be able to have braided line given to us so um especially when there's no money on the line and you're just going out fishing for food or fishing for fun man keep that braid on there for a couple two three years um save your money and it's gonna last you so robbie tie your leader on i don't know if you guys can use a swivel down there but if not then use the uh modified albright or alberta knot all right okay everyone i hope that you enjoyed Learning how to tie these lines to leader knots, um, like I said, there's many benefits to them and, and you really should just, you never know when you're going to be in that situation. I've even tied that modified Alberta Albright knot from braid to braid just when I was running low on braid on my reel and all I had was like one spool left in my boat. I tied the braid to braid together and I never doubted this for a second that, you know, should that not have made it through my guys and into the water when I was either casting or fighting a fish, it wasn't going to break off. So that's just another example of a way you can do that to kind of conserve your resources there when you're in a pinch. So I'm Derek. Thank you to all our service members. Uh, maybe you heard some of these dudes flying around, but couldn't done it with any, without any of y'all. And uh, till next time, raise drive fishing. Derek Dugan. Peace.